All right, what is up guys? Today is July 10th, 2017, and today I have Floor System Test 36. It's been a little while since I've uh, messed around with the fire alarm system and uh, really done anything with it. I've been pretty busy these past couple months. Uh, I was uh, finishing up high school, and after that we had to uh, get ready for our family picnic, which was the weekend before last. But uh, now that all that stuff's over with, hopefully I should have more time to... Uh, you know, mess around with the system and uh, make more of these videos for you guys. So, um, hopefully a pretty quick video today. I, besides that, I really don't have anything else to say. Nothing has changed with the panels or anything like that, but just uh, new devices for the test. So, um, same pole station that, that was here uh, for the last test, the 4251-20. I have several of these. Um, for the horn strobe, I have my Simplex 4903-9252 electronic horn strobe. This is the one that came out of the uh, J.P. Morgan Chase building that was demolished last year. This is the one that has the horn on it that sounds like the True Alert, so this thing pretty much sounds almost identical to a True Alert. I think it actually is a True Alert horn. And then we actually have a device which I bought off of a New Age Server Alarm a couple years ago. This is a Simplex uh, 4904-9112 110 Candela strobe. And uh, this is hooked into NAC1. This is a two-wire alarm, unless I cut the jumpers on it, which I don't plan on doing. This is a two-wire alarm, so it's on NAC1. This is on NAC2. So uh, this will uh, completely turn off when I silence the system, and this will keep flashing until I reset it. Um, anything I should mention? Uh, this strobe is very bright. Like I said, it's 110 candela. It's, uh, it's very bright. And... Um, it's also got a little bit of an issue, too, and uh, a New Age server alarm, I'm pretty sure when he was filming his a couple of system tests with this thing, he pointed out that it uh, cut out a little bit or something like that. It's been having some issues. It uh, tends to uh, cut out a little bit. It, it uh, does make a, a very uh, noticeable squeal sound, and uh, sometimes it just seems to cut off by itself. So um, I got a feeling this strobe could be going bad. I'm not really sure, but... We'll see how it works for the video. So anyway, um, I'm just going to quickly pull it and uh, get this over with. Um, panels on March time. Uh, so that's about it. Here we go. Three, two, one. There's that strobe. As you guys can see, it's a very slow flasher. Oh, it actually uh, flashed quite quickly there, but... Anyway, let's reset the pole station. Ah, it just cut out. Not sure why it does that, you know. Uh, I think this alarm could uh, very well be going bad. You know, you have to tap it a little bit before it'll start working again. So, I'm not really sure what's up with that, but as you guys can see, very slow flasher. And it does make a quite noticeable squeal sound. Sounds like it's having a hard time, so I'm not really sure. Um, hopefully it'll keep working here for a while. All right, let's reset. And it just cut out. No, there it goes again. So, yeah. Something's wrong with it, no doubt. Something is not right with it. Oh, well, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. If this was on an actual fire alarm system, that device would probably be coming out and uh, replaced. So, all right, there we go. And uh, there's all the usual troubles. Still working on getting those cleared. So, anyway, there's that. Thank you guys for watching, and that'll be it.